sorry about that video cutting off folks uh it cut off at a point where we can continue from there uh obviously remember what we've seen up to now i'm going to turn the camera around uh we'll do another just five minutes and i'll call it number one two on the same day we're still on the 21st so i'll turn this around right we're looking at some onions this was one of the later set onions around about christmas time and it's made an onion i mean the foliage is all gone because of the heat but it's made a 26 inch onion there it's a nice 20 tops completely gone now with the temperatures some nice shaped bulbs in here lovely and round again 24 and a half tops about finished that's a big one uh, that one's on 27 inches I've left these just for a few heavy hits. They're rock solid. They have had two feeds of potash and they're very solid. So they're good. Nice shape. A couple of nice onions along here. This one's 25 inches. And this one, I think that's my nicest onion. Uh, whether it shows it properly on the video or not. It's a lovely round onion, nice high neck. And that one's 25. Lunch leeks we'll take a quick look at. Again look at the foliage just burnt to hell it's a disaster they'll be okay for stock but that's all so that's a general play with the um the onion stock it's all more or less ready to be taken leek heads as you can see in here all the way along what i did yesterday because of the sun's burning everything and the sun's going on a lot longer than normal i have removed quite a few of these heads and i've put them into a shaded area and we'll walk up and we'll have a look in the shaded area just to see what the stock's doing up there. I'll put this on hold. Right, we're up in the dog kennels now. Uh, this is one of the kennels where I don't have a dog. And we'll take a look in here. As you can see, these heads are a lot fresher. They're all growing very well. Loads of grass on these heads. Some very nice heads in here. These are all different varieties. Some I've just shaved. They've only been done this week. And as you can see, the grass is just starting to show signs of popping through. Another week or a fortnight, and they'll start to look like this. They're doing very well. These are three that I just carried up yesterday. I've had to trim them back because basically the um, sun had burned all the grass off them so I've cut them back we'll see if it comes away I gave them a little feed yesterday to be honest with you some nice heads here again these ones were brought up yesterday they were looking all burnt so I've cut the tops off them these heads have been in here a while this is a dog kennel it has got a top on it uh, as we can see but there's trees growing up over it so it's sheltered uh, it has got an air vent there, large air vent, and it has got open fronts here. So there's plenty of air coming through here. I think next year I'll have to put a lot more stock into here. So, well, that's the state of play at the moment, folks. Um, the second one's only a three or four minute video. It was meant to be added on with the first one, but it cut off. I had visitors uh, come down. It was actually the chap to uh, see the bees. You just had a look. He thinks the bees are way ahead of the normal. Um, each hive probably produced about 15 to 18 pound of honey this year been tremendous um, the weather's just been so hot we haven't had rain for a long time the lawns are all suffering the fruit crops have been brilliant the apples and everything are all starting to ripen up and the trees are absolutely laden we could have done with a little bit of water just to get them going but uh, never mind everything in the gardens rosy apart from the exhibition stock but it'll all go back for stock all right by the time we come down next time, I'll probably have most of them out, most of them in for stock, and we'll take a look and see how they're actually moving along. Thanks a lot. Very good now. Bye-bye.